Cáiliúrlí. As my colleague Ona Bryn laid out yesterday to the House, Rebuilding Ireland, the Government's housing plan, is in its fourth year. And the results are stark. Homelessness is up 67 per cent. We now have over 10,000 citizens who are homeless. And that is the new normal under Fine Gael in a country that has the fastest growing economy in Europe. The number of homeless children has increased by 81 per cent under your Government, nearly doubled Tánaiste. And I mentioned one of those children, Sam, here last month in the Dáil. He is just one of more than 4,000 children who face into this Christmas without a home. And the first duty of any decent society is to, to protect its children and to protect its vulnerable. And as you know, too many of our children are facing into a Christmas that they simply don't deserve. It's a Christmas in emergency accommodation, a Christmas in a hotel room, a Christmas in B&Bs, some for the fourth year in a row. On Tuesday, a conference held by Social Justice Ireland told us that there were to toddlers unable to walk, unable to crawl because of prolonged stays in emergency accommodation, their development stunted and their future stolen from them. And as you know, Tonishtia, the biggest cause of family homelessness in this state is the unaffordable and out of control private rental sector. Rents have risen by 40% since your government took office in 2016. The average rent in Dublin now stands at over €2,000 for new rents a month, and in Cork it is over €1,300 a month. This has locked a whole generation of young people and young families into an out-of-control rental market. It is locking them out of any aspiration of ever owning their own home. Reports published by the Central Bank just last week told us that the average deposit for a new house now stands at €87,000. So, Tanishta, how can these individuals, how can these families locked into unaffordable rents ever hope to secure a deposit of €87,000? For young people and young families seeing rent swallow up their pay packets, the message is clear from government. Your future in Ireland is uncertain. And your government, Tanishta, has refused to take the responsibility and refused to deliver on housing that is needed. To take responsibility for unaffordable rents, to take the responsibility for your failure to deliver affordable homes for first-time buyers. <coughs> and while failing to take responsibility for the housing crisis, you have failed to listen to the alternatives that, uh, and policies and solutions that we in Sinn Féin and those advocates on the front line have put forward. Solutions such as that we have put forward, which would reduce the cost of rent by introducing a tax measure for renters and crucially introducing a rent freeze. This government has rejected that proposal, as has Fianna Fáil. These solutions would put a break on the out-of-control rental market. It would give renters the space and, the, and a breath to save and plan for the future. So can I ask you, will your government take immediate action and listen to the concerns of renters right across the state, understanding that the system is out of control, and will you belatedly accept respond. what Sinn Féin have argued for and introduce a rent freeze? Okay, thank you, um, Count Corley. Can I first of all just respond to the general comment that, that rebuilding Ireland isn't working? Because I think the facts don't bear that out. There's still a lot of work to do. Um, but more than 50,000 new homes have been built over the last three years. Uh, there has been an 82 per cent increase in the number of new homes completed between 2016 and 2018. 10,000 new council homes will be added to the council housing stock this year, 11,000 next year, 12,000 the year after that. The daft.ie report published this month states uh, it looks as though Ireland's longest ever run of increased rental prices may soon be coming to an end. It's not the government, it's daft.ie saying that. Uh, we've we have brought in new laws to significantly strengthen tenants' rights, and by the way, Sinn Féin have supported most of those, uh, including some of the rental changes that have been recently introduced by, uh, by, by Minister Murphy. Uh, and the number of apartment completions has gone up by over 81 per cent over the last 12 months. Uh, residential property prices are decreasing in Dublin uh, and slowing across the country as more and more homes are built. We are helping uh, people to buy their first home. To date, 15,000 new homes have been bought by first-time buyers with the Help to Buy scheme, a Help to Buy scheme that I was heavily criticised for introducing, if I can remember, at the time. But it's working. 
Uh, and so, so, Deputy, the point I make here is that we do have a housing crisis, of, a crisis, and we have had one for quite some time. But the government has responded to that by driving supply across all tenures. Uh, social housing, affordable housing, cost rental, private house purchase. We've prioritised first-time buyers because literally uh, a tiny percentage of, of house sales a number of years ago uh, were first-time buyers because they simply couldn't afford to put deposits together. Uh, we now have, so far, under the Rebuild Building Ireland plan since the introduction of the Help to Buy scheme, 15,000 new homes purchased um, by first-time buyers. Um, so yes, there are still pressures in the system. Yes, we need to continue uh, to, uh, to increase supply. We need to get to about 35,000 extra homes per year. Uh, we need to ensure that somewhere between 10 and 12,000 social houses are added to the social housing stock each year, and we are getting there. And we are spending next year 2.68 billion euros on the housing budget, which is multiples of what it was only three or four years ago. Um, so the Rebuilding Ireland plan, which was a five-year housing plan, is working is responding. We still have people, unfortunately, though, under real pressure who are homeless. But if you look at the, uh, at the homelessness figures, too, in the first six months uh, of this year, nearly 3,000 adults and their dependents exited homeless, uh, um, um, uh, um, homeless um, services uh, this year, and that continues to increase quarter after quarter. Um, the, the rate of increase of homelessness has dramatically slowed down. And now we need to get on top of that and accept uh, the reality uh, that we must make a significant impact over the next 12 months on the 10,000 um, uh, people who are homeless today. So uh, we are making progress. Okay, Deputy, uh, and to, to paint the housing challenge, as some people are trying to do next week, uh, Deputy, in, a, in a political stunt uh, um, uh, to try to raise profile in ah, advance please. of a by-election. Uh, in my view, misses the you'll, point. You'll have a second opportunity, Tanisha. Deputy Doherty, Tanisha, Tanisha, it's time that you got your head out of the sand. It's time that you actually got the point. Your plan is not working, and no matter how much spin and statistics you put out there, it doesn't wash. The reality is, and this is the reality, the reality is to rent in this city, in terms of new rental, it is over €2,000. In your own home city of Cork, it is €1,300. Now, you may think that those levels of rent are acceptable, but they are not to ordinary people out there. The reality is, since you took office, homelessness has increased by over 67 per cent, and child homelessness has gone up by 81 per cent. Over 4,000 children will go to sleep tonight in emergency accommodation, not to talk about the thousands of people who are back living with their families because they can't afford the rents. But the worst case of all of this here is the damage that we are doing as a society to these children. We have heard from the front line children who cannot crawl, toddlers who cannot walk. Now, I'm a father, as are you. One of the most best experience ever was standing there and looking at your child taking the first steps. Under your government, you are denying these children able to the development milestones that normal children should be able to achieve. Why? Because they are in cramped accommodation in hotel rooms, in B&Bs, in hubs, and some of them are in there for four years. So take to your feet and tell those children, tell those parents that your plan is working, but it's not. Tell the renters who are paying €2,000 that your plan is working. It is not. You need to get your head out of the sand, you need to invest appropriately, and you need to introduce a rent respond. freeze so that we stop this Jordy, massive uh, craziness of Tanisha landlords increasing rent, rent and putting families into homelessness. Uh, as usual, Sinn Féin are good at vocalising uh, the pressures that result from, from a crisis, uh, but as usual they don't have any solutions. It isn't. It isn't. We have... We There's a we must respect the fact that the Tanisha has to be given an opportunity uninterrupted, whether you like his reply or not. Tanisha, if we, if we introduced a rent freeze tomorrow, it wouldn't get a single child out of a family hub or a hotel. What it would do, there is a, there is a good reason. Move on. I will move on and you'll get no answers. There is a good reason why the majority in this House, 
and we do live in a democracy, Deputy, there, why the majority in this House do not support a rent freeze. Uh, because we believe that it would fundamentally undermine the core issue that we're trying to resolve here, which is the lack of supply. Uh, and so we have introduced a rent cap, which we believe to be a much more appropriate uh, course of action, which, by the way, was supported by a very large majority in this House when it was introduced. And subsequently, Minister Murphy has introduced a whole range of new protections for renters. Uh, but the core issue here is, until we increase the supply of housing stock in all sectors, including affordable rental and cost rental, which is what we're doing, well then we're not going to see uh, re uh, reductions in the price of rental, which is what we actually want to do. We can try and actually swim against the tide and force uh, a, a rent freeze uh, on a stock that isn't sufficient in terms of volume, or we can try to get more houses built across all tenures Thanks, so, that actually, so that actually renters have choice where they want to rent and people who want to purchase a house can afford to do it.